it's spooky time! Yay! <laughs> <Get a level. laughs> Daddy needs a sofa. <laughs> no, Daddy doesn't need anything. Uh, <laughs> Come on, sad chat. Don't screw it up. Don't screw it up. <laughs> she doesn't know I'm about to read it live on stream. There oh, we go. No. She, she sent the pamphlet back. To go, and we were on like one of the last days we were there. <laughs> oh. My car's in a video game. <laughs> Mom, you really don't have to lie. Okay, I know it's Mom. you. Thanks, buddy. You're uh, literally our only viewer, so <laughs> thanks for joining. Oh, oh, that's disturbing. Perfect. <laughs> oh, oh. I just got it. Yay, oh, yay, yay. I, we I did it, everybody. I, I crashed it with Kyle's. Oh, we are, something is blowing up. This is great. <laughs> well, at least our baby boy is in there. Yes! Dude! Yes! Karen came in clutch! Oh my gosh. Coming in. Get her. She's Come down. on! She's down. She, oh, there's, someone, there's someone else. There's someone else. Yes! Oh man! I probably woke the baby up. Oh, I'm in so much trouble. <laughs> What is up, everybody? This is Kyle Emblem. Hopefully, finally, the final entry in Kyle Emblem. It might be the final entry. It may not be. No one knows how poorly I'm going to do today. But we will find out starting now. There we go. All right. Rebirth. So I uh, I did the thing. I went back and played the uh, level that I beat last week but lost a person on, and I made sure that that person didn't die. Mm. Oh, that is really low. Sorry, guys. Asher, you mustn't. You cannot survive without your opposite. Please, you must not do this. Your world still needs you. Laron, you have everything. Hey, Al, how you doing? In deference to you, I will place my faith. I didn't realize how low this game was. I shall sleep as well. When I wake again, I hope it is to a world of peace and order where all prosper as mm. equal. Thanks for watching, Al. That makes me feel makes me feel good. If I, love I do, that. <laughs> then I will know that you have advised me well. I will reward you. I will also allow your name to return to me. I will once again be the goddess of creation, whole and complete. Ashunara, the dawn goddess, the name your ancestors gave me so long ago. I should like to hear it again. However, during this thousand years, if the chaos of war should arise and awaken Lune from her slumber in the Medallion, I will know that you have strayed from your path, and I will punish your failure as I will reward 
<laughs> You're too cute. In the names of our people, we vow to keep this covenant. There will be no great war between Lagos and Bjork for a thousand years. So pledge Altina of the Bjork, Degensia of the Dragon Tribes, Soen of the Beast Tribes, and I, Leran, of the Bird Tribes. If you believe oh, during he's a bird. Years, that you have created a world that has outgrown the atrocities of war, or, if you feel the world has fallen beyond hope of redemption, you may sing the Galder of release and awaken us both. Your heirs will possess that ability as well. This is a really long cutscene. Sing to awaken us and tell us your tale. Tell us of the world your two kinds have built in our absence. We will listen. And we will judge fairly and impartially. This is our covenant with you. Mm. Great. Oh no. Oh no. I did something wrong. I wasn't supposed to do that. Uh, okay, so I have to restart something. Uh, so a uh, little behind the scenes information for you guys. Um, in order to beat that level that I ended on last week, I had to restart, obviously. And um, I got a little I got a little into playing, I'll say. I think it was this one yeah i got a little too it too into playing and actually ended up beating the level after without so uh <laughs> sorry about that um yeah that's totally my bad but i think we can play now at least so uh to let you know this is the second to last level. Um, this guy is like the prime minister, <laughs> the chancellor, I guess. Um, yeah, he's very powerful. I can't believe I did that. I'm so sorry. I wasted like five minutes. That was really stupid. Man, I am... I don't know what the heck is wrong with me. I'm, like, out of it today. I really... I didn't sleep well last night, of course. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Have to restart this every single time. Okay, now I will actually do the right thing. Okay. Very strong. Nice, Soren. 
Hmm. So, yes. Sorry about that. This is the second to last um, level in the game. Sorry, whoever's watching, Al, and if it's Connor or someone, I'm just feeling really weird. Um. Yeah, sorry um, if you're watching this. Uh, I've been dealing with some weird, uh, like, heart issues, like palpitations and crap, and uh, I don't know, it's just kind of hitting me hard tonight. Trying to relax, trying to just, you know, not worry about it too much. Hmm. Just feeling really. Hmm. I'm just going to turn this down a little bit. Okay. Oh. <sighs> yeah. I'm not sure what's going on. Just feel really, uh, wonky. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a quick break. Give me give me a minute.
we are back hopefully for good this time a little bit a little bit more uh, focused I hope hope possibly maybe I don't know I'm gonna try and get this done why do I feel like this is why do I feel like I've done this Maybe because I did. Because I already beat this level. This is so weird. I don't remember. So I beat this level already today. Because um, I got overly excited about playing it. When I went back to beat the other level. And... Um, yeah, it just, it was, uh, different when I played it the first time. Not sure. Not sure what's, what's exactly is different about it, but it feels different. Basically, and I say basically a lot, even though it's not basic. Um, this guy has an ability where he will direct any attack that will ultimately kill him towards one of his four little spirit orb thingies. So, uh, you have to defeat those before you can kill him. Which is really weird because... I'm still so out of it, I'm not... I'm like... I feel like I'm taking crazy pills or something. <sighs> he's gonna heal himself. With a little butthole. He's gonna move. And then his buddies are gonna move with him. All around him. And then they're gonna start attacking me. Which is not fair, because they can literally transport anywhere on the map whenever they want. And it's not fair. So basically, again, I me mean saying basically. Name a more iconic duo than Kyle and saying the word basically. She's gonna die. I know it. Yep. Can't do anything about that. Oh, she didn't die. She retreats from battle. So she's still alive in the story. This is the second to final battle. So, um... He's like the... Servant of the god, Asherah, that I need to beat. And, uh... He's very powerful. And tricky. Very tricky. What's up, Jimmy? How you doing? What's up, Connor? Yeah, no, I, it actually looks like a chessboard now. <laughs> it's got all the different tiles, except this is this is more entertaining than chess. Uh, chess, unless you're talking about, you know, Beth Harmon playing, then it starts getting interesting. Ah, uh, I know, man. The, I think um, the guy before the dragon that I had to beat, the, like, big grandfather dragon, he had four health bars. And uh, I had to... Ugh! I hate these stupid spirit orbs! They're so dumb! Ugh, I can't stand them. And they're, they're like, stupid strong. Like, for no reason. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use... First quest equals five slimes and quest kill god. Yeah. Pretty much. That's how this game works. How could you not hit him twice? Good lord. Oh, how can they dodge? Hit him again. There we go. Alright, so we got one. 
You need to get the three others around him uh, on north, south, east, and west. The adjacent guys don't, it doesn't matter. Um, but you have to at least get these four. So... Try and do this. I might have enough. Yeah, if he gets one more hit. Uh -huh. Soren, why do you do this to me all the time? Here's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, so that's his guard thing. If if an attack's definitely gonna kill him, which this guy would have killed him, he redirects it. So, good thing I have these flying enemies, though. Or, not enemies, flying, uh... Bonk! Tried to bonk me. Okay. So... Hmm. Uh... Dang it, I really can't, like, I really can't move anymore. That sucks. So, here's, here's the other issue, is that this guy, I, if he was in his, like, bird form, I could put him right here, and all four of these guys would be able to have a second turn. But I can't because he hasn't transformed yet. What I could do is fly him over here and give him this, which would turn him into a bird. Man, it's like... Here's what I'm going to do. Oh, apparently, I'm going to have a conversation. I have to pick one or the other. I think. Oh man, I might do Masala just because he's able to move. I don't know. This is really tough. This was a lot easier when I played it earlier. Like way, 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 way easier. So I'm gonna hit that guy. Great, I killed him. But I don't have anyone else to attack with. So he's just going to re-warp, like, over here or uh, up to one of these two. Or back down here. Which means I have to bring everybody else down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this guy up just in preparation. She can't be hurt by these things, so they don't even attack her. Um, I'm going to use Physic to heal Gift Guy. It literally is, like, kill God. <laughs> just like um, Cadell said, uh, it you know, you start off doing little mercenary work, and by the end of the game, you have to kill an actual god. No, nope. see, I can't even. Ugh, yeah, that's rough. Yeah, if I could move him over one more, I could get him into this spot and. See how um, at the top of everyone's items, they're all blue? That means they're blessed by the god who's on my side. And um, it's the only thing that can hurt him. It has to be with a blessed weapon. So if you don't bless it, uh, he doesn't take any damage. He's going to he's gonna heal himself. <sighs> oh, oh, this is bad. He's going to like murder everyone in this area. They're all really, really weak against magic. Well, not all of them. Sorry. Yeah, the, the dolphin emulator just completely wrecks the CPU on this. I may have to, like, restart this entire thing. Because I just got whooped. Oof. Good lord. That hurt. Oh, she didn't take any damage. That's good. Okay, maybe he's not going to rewarp. Wow. Okay, so he's... He's not going to. He's going to stay there. The bad thing is, I have to still have everybody survive, and they're all really low health now. But we shall see. We're all going after uh, Canagus. Canagus? 
I don't know how to pronounce it. Oh, you didn't take damage for that one. That was good. Just, they, they, these things are like so, they're so annoying because they never directly attack. They almost always um, attack from an extra space so that you have to be a ranged fighter to, oh, it's really bad. Okay, well, at least they're not going after him anymore. And they're going after Gifka instead, which is just as bad. Come on to barn. Good job. Ugh, this is painful to watch. And experience. <laughs> no, I don't, uh, I don't have any fortifies. Oh, please don't get hit. Good job. Good thing is most of these uh, fighters are level 20, so their defense is pretty good. Um, I have a Psychic, which I can... Oh my gosh, they are just like... Oh no! Ugh. Well, he didn't die-die, but he did retreat. But he's one of my heavy hitters, and I need him for the end because he's so powerful. So I have to restart. Uh, okay, so... Basically, what happened the first time when I beat this earlier today is I got very uh, in a very good position and just I was careful and I wasn't careful when I was just playing this now. So we're going to try and be a little bit more careful. Just a little bit. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I think I did the wrong one. For some reason, when this stupid game, uh, when you reload it, it... Um, it automatically goes to the furthest level that a save slot has. So like if you have a level that's on, if you just started a new game and then you have another save slot and you're at the last level in the game, it'll automatically default to selecting the furthest level rather than the most recent, which is real dumb, but it is what it is. All right, so I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna change who I have. I don't need Anna because she died. <laughs> Uh, because she couldn't uh, turn into her dragon form. So if you have a Laguz character, like uh, Kurth, Enna, Nasala, uh, Tabarn, Kaningus, Gifka, Raysun, they are all extremely powerful if they're in their uh, animal form. If they're not, or their beast form. If they're not, they're just like normal humans and they just will absolutely get wrecked. So, I'm going to save real quick. There we go. So, got rid of her. Don't have to worry about her. Little little info. Raysun uh, and Micaiah will not be attacked at all in, in this level. Uh, they might be attacked in the next one. But in this level, they will not. These guys will not go after them. So, you don't really have to worry about where they are. They can just be anywhere. Um, we'll see. I'm just going to send a cell up here. Shift him. Attack this guy. There you go. He got a one-hit kill. These things are not... They don't have that much health, but they're really, like, sturdy. They can take a beating, which is annoying. But the good thing is I have my support system for pretty much every character on the map. So as long as I keep them relatively close together, they'll get their uh, little um, boosts. So we're going to put you over here. Ike, you can come up here. Mist, stay back here. Kurth, you're coming up. Uh, you know what? I'm going to put you here and then shift you. So we beat Kurth's dad to death, pretty much, in the last match. He was the big granddaddy dragon. Okay. See, Soren's my most powerful magic user, but using... Okay, so he's going to kill this guy. But uh, certain elements are not as effective against other elements, and uh, wind is most effective against fire, I think. And it it's even against other wind, and it's less effective against lightning. But, we, we ignore that. <laughs> Alright, 
Zyhark's got his nice little blade. Just did a crit. Nice. Oh, I love that thing. That blade is so good. And Shinnan's got his double bow, which can attack from two squares and is incredibly powerful and can also uh, attack on... Um, he doesn't have to be adjacent. He can be right next to somebody and still attack them, which is freaking awesome. I love that about that item. And I stole it! And then got it blessed. <laughs> so, uh... It, it'll never break, and he'll never run out of arrows for it, which is perfect. Exactly what I want. Alright, so that's everybody. They're much more grouped together, so most of their support uh, bonuses should be happening. It's not going to happen with Gifka, which is weird. Who is he support? Oh, Raysun is his support. I Some of them I just like. It doesn't make sense why I <laughs> chose those supports. But uh, Ike... No, Ike's going to be too far. Shinnin will have his. Uh, Tabarn and Asala will have his. Micaiah and Soth will have hit theirs. See how good they are? Oh my gosh, you put them on the right tile? Oh, they're so, like, effective. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. Um, if... You've never seen this uh, stream before with me playing this game. Anytime there's like a magical effect uh, for an attack or anything, and it's very large, like it's a large area, or it's just a very dense magical effect with a lot of like shininess, the emulator that I'm using just completely grinds like to a halt. It's it's kind of funny um, and crazy, but yeah, it, it just, I can't do anything about it. I've tried. I've tried turning things off and turning things on, and, and nothing seems to make a difference. But, you know, it is what it is. I really should. Yeah, we'll let's see what I can do. Nope. Do your crit. You stupid butthole. Can I shove you? Yes! So I'm, I'm using Dolphin. But yes, it ha or is... Unless Emu is something for Dolphin. But no, this is... um, it, it really... It ain't a fan of those big effects. I can tell you that. So I'm going to try and go for the things around him before I attack him. So that I can just have to barn absolutely like wail on him oh come on do one more yeah well why couldn't you have done it the first time Ugh. that's what you get for uh... mm. All right, whatever. I'm going to send to Barn in, knowing he's not going to be able to fully kill him. Uh-oh. To Barn's going to die. He's, he's dead. I'm going to have to restart. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he survived it. That's amazing. He survived a crit from one of the strongest characters in the entire game. That's... Impressive. Good job on you, Tabon. Using that physic. Ugh! Okay, so... The question is... Can I do... Can I... I wonder if I can... Shove him forward enough... I think I can. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, Emu? I was like, is Emu a... Uh... <laughs> I don't know what that is. Um, okay, well, that was stupid. I shouldn't have done that because... Whatever. Uh, I will bring Ike back and we'll see if he can do any damage. So I'm bringing him over here and he's going to be like, hey... Uh, 
You can try to complicate things, but you're my enemy. He's like, whatever, man. I don't care. You're stupid. You've got blue hair. Yeah, so he's free on this side, but he's still got this guy, so I still cannot attack him. Now, if, if this guy could fly a little bit further, maybe... Yeah, it's he's he's gonna transport, but that means he can't attack the next turn because he has to use a rewarp. So, okay, which way is he going? To left? He's going left. This is this is almost exactly what happened when I when I beat this level the first time. So he's bringing his little his little ball magic baby things with him. They're gonna surround him again, but he's much closer to the middle of the group. We do like Ike. Ike is the best. They just keep going for Tabarn. They're just out for blood. It's weird that they... Normally they don't go after Ike. Like, at all. Because he can just do that. They're going at... No. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The problem is, is that there's so many of these things and they can very easily block off pathways that would otherwise be pretty straightforward letting you get to Sephirin. So you have to, you have to pick and choose like which ones to, to hit because uh, you need to make the shortest possible path so that you can have the right amount of people getting to him to take care of the four things around him and then also hit him. So it's, it's, it's a little bit messy, but I think we can do it. And the other annoying thing is that at the end of most of the rounds, it replenishes like four or five or six of the uh, magic ball thingies. So it looks like they're not really blocking me that much, which is good. Um, yeah, actually, they're not really doing much of anything. They're kind of just go maybe because I split my party, they're picking and choosing. Like if I if I was playing defense on this and I had access to the the ball things, I would just create like a wall. I'd I'd make it like too too thick. Um yeah, he every every um round spirits come either here or they come up here. And uh, it's it's endless. I literally tried it out last night where I, I put all my people into this corner and just had, like, a defensive wall up. And I went, like, 30 rounds, I think, and they never stopped. So I think it is just infinite, which, you know, that's not really fair, but <laughs> whatever. It is what it is. All right, good. We got one. That's good because Soren doesn't have a second attack on these things for some reason. I think they're... I think their resistance is too high or their skill is too high because normally he can attack twice and if he uses adept on both his attacks he can attack four times total which is awesome but we don't have that for these things so yes great I'm very glad that you bonk try and bonk me uh, okay, so I can't get up there, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a little, I'm gonna do a little shooty shooty. Oh, come on, hit him one more time! Stupid butthole. Alright, I need... You to push Zyhart. Oh, you can't push him! Ah! I just need you to shove him. Yes, there we go. Okay. So now he can come down here and he can do his little, little Tempest Blade. Yeah, that's the only one he could hit that would matter. So. Oh, come on. Use your crit. Annoying. But expected. So they won't attack her, but I can still use her to attack them. Good. Okay, so we took care of two. And we've still got these guys, and if I can get them up here, Ike. I think what I'm going to do, though, is have Nisala come over here. Ten. 
Take care of that guy. Good. Good, good, good. And then I will come over here. Yep, I think I, I think I can beat him. So he's going to take care of this guy in one hit, no less. I don't even need Ike. And I'm going to bring Raysun over here. Rez to barn. This is like exactly what happened the last time. Like almost to a T. And... We did it. We got it. He's happy because at last, he's dying. Alright, that was way, way easier than the last level that I played, which I had to play like a thousand times to get right. So, we're all sad that Sephirin, uh is dying. Sanaki is like the apostle. Think of her like the Pope. And he was her father figure slash mentor. And all he really wanted to do was murder everyone on the entire planet. But it's okay, because she still likes him. Um, Yune is actually the god of chaos who is inhabiting the body of uh, Makaya, who's the girl with the white hair, and her eyes turn red when the god is talking through her, and yellow when it's actually her. And she's like, oh hey, uh, it's you from like 10,000 years ago, and you know, you wanted to murder everybody. And you still do, That's you've got a really big heart on for killing the entire planet. Um, but he's a nice guy, I guess, because he's, you know, dead now. And he gives Sanaki his little gem thing, which gives her a plus 10 to defense, which is freaking awesome. Uh... Alright, so the door is opening. Look at that light. So glorious. Also, no one died! I'm so happy, no one died. I have... I got the Rudolph gem. Sounds like Rudolph. Alright, guys. Last level. Last one. Very last one. Oh, well, we already listened to this. Uh, so I'm going to skip it. Basically, it's saying, Hey, um, don't kill each other for a thousand years, and I won't kill you. And we couldn't do that because humans uh, and beasts... And humans and furries couldn't get along. So, what else is new? Um, yeah. Okay, I'm going to get rid of Anna. Take Rumor Rumor instead. All right. So, I have not played this level specifically in a very long time. Because I remember it being particularly, like, difficult. So she's got these little fire spirit things, but look at the look at the tiles. This is uh, plus ten against magic, plus ten against defense. This is a fifteen heal stone, and she's standing on a heal stone, so that's going to heal her a little bit. You have to break. I think you have to break the entire barrier. I think. I can't really remember. But we're gonna try it. I'm gonna I'm gonna shift all my my guys. Um, wow. Okay. So a barrier can dodge fire. Interesting. All right. Let's just try using my most powerful magic user against uh, a barrier. Well, it didn't do much. And it hurt him quite a bit. Yeah, you want to you want to cancel out my attack bonuses? I'll cancel out your attack bonuses. That's what uh, the Nihil or Nile Ni or whatever it like cancels out any attack bonus. Well, at least you can attack twice. Oh uh, well, the wall can also attack twice. That's not super great. I feel like. There's a way. I can't remember exactly. There's a way to recruit Sephirin. I don't know. I can't can't really remember. Ow. Ow. Put me on that heel stone. Uh 
Let's see what we can do. Can you attack from this far away? Wall? Yeah, you can. But you were super effective. Um, man. It really wants me to like directly attack her. How can it dodge? How can a wall dodge attacks? I don't understand. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, it makes so much more sense now. All right, so I got I got the corner. I really just need to get this one, and then uh, we can go. Gifka, come up here. Uh, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. She's got some sort of big, huge area of effect attack. Judge, miraculous power of the goddess or attacks of a myriad of forms and effects, and it just changes constantly. So you never know what you're gonna get. You never know what you're gonna get, and. Um, yeah, it just kind of sucks. Okay, he's got a Lagoo's gem too. I will use that. And also, we'll bring him over here and steal it. <laughs> and use that. I can't believe I hadn't used that before. Um, We're going to... Oh, man. I have a feeling that uh, people are going to die. <laughs> I'm gonna try and do it without people dying. I, I I might play through if people die. I might play through this um this level anyway, just to see what her attacks do, so I can anticipate them for the next time. I'm curious to what these guys do. I'm not sure if they're here just to be annoying, but we'll see. And again, I don't know if I need to defeat the entire. I wonder if she has guard too. No, she's got mantle, which. Nullifies all. Okay, so basically you can't hurt her. She's got, she's God, so you can't hurt her just like the last guy unless your stuff is uh, blessed. Papa bless. Right, I'm gonna put these people. Miss can stay right here. Makai, you can stay here. I'm gonna have you heal to barn just in case. And then I'm gonna physic you, steal all the gems. That's what I'm here for. All right. Well, we're gonna see what happens. She's gonna have a big old attack, and it's gonna hurt real bad. I know that. Oh, nice. He dodged when he wasn't in his. Oh man, that thing does a lot of damage. Holy crap. They're just gonna keep going after him. This is real bad, he might die. Oh, he died. Whatever, well, like I said, um, I might I might go through. Basically, I, I, sh I used something I, I shouldn't have used. I should have turned him into his beast form so that he had like triple def defense or whatever. But whatever, we will go through it. So yeah, this is her big area of attack. My, the the fans on my computer just uh, kicked on, which is always great. Oh, hey, he didn't take damage from that. That's awesome. Everybody else took damage. Holy crap! Dude, people are gonna die. Oh, good lord, that was powerful. Wow, okay. So he's gonna raise their biorhythm so that they're at the top of their uh, peaks. She's gonna heal herself because she's on the healing stone. He's gonna heal himself because he's on the healing stone. Everybody's gonna heal themselves who's on healing stones, which is great. Tabarn really didn't take that much damage. All right, let's see what Tabarn can do against her. Okay, all right, I can't attack her. I have to attack the wall. That's real dumb. That's so stupid, I hate crap like this. This is this is what you ask for when you get into Fire Emblem though, so. What can you do? Yeah, 
Ow. Ow. Alright. The good thing is they don't attack you if you beat the the actual um Oh gosh dang it. I think that's so stupid. Alright, so here's here's the problem. <laughs> Um, I need to heal people real bad. Uh, who needs it most? To barn, probably. Masala, definitely. I might just have to take this, like... Oh, this is not good. This is tough. This is real tough. And rightly so. I mean, it should be. We'll get uh, to barn healed up. So we got we got our two powerful birds, all healed. Who else can I? I might just have to do some vulneries on people who can't be healed. And we'll see what happens. I don't think she'll die. I could be a thousand percent wrong, though. Definitely possible. So close. And yet, so far. Alright, well... It is what it is. I really shouldn't do that. I should leave him on the healing step. That is what I'll do. Sanaki, you need to heal. Man, even with that gem, she's still got... She's got... Uh, she doesn't really have that good defense. She's got really good magical resistance, though. Let's see, who are they going after? Gifka course. Oh! Painful. So painful. I wonder if her attack hurts less the further away from you. I wonder if the circle on the board is the area. Like, if you're outside of that, you don't get hurt. Maybe that's it. Did somebody look that up? <laughs> Let me know. Because people are going to die. Soren's going to die. He's got one of the highest magical resistance in the entire game. And he's going to die if he gets hit again. From her. Okay, so he's gonna go, she's going to go after specific people. Okay, well, Soth just died. That's... Okay, so he doesn't die. He just retreats. Which, you know... We're all, we're all, we all get participation trophies, so. Heal. Heal. Definitely heal. Alright, well, I, you know. Dodge this. There we go. It literally did dodge it. How stupid is that? So I'm going to heal Soren, so he's back to full. Use his magic-y wonderfulness on this barrier. Come on, you can do it. Again, didn't really do much of anything. How can they dodge? I don't understand. It doesn't make, literally makes no sense. Like, actually makes zero sense. I get the magical things dodging, the, the little energy ball things. That makes sense to me. Walls of energy that don't move, that that don't make any sense to me. There we go. Hey, just don't worry about me. Just coming up alongside you. Okay. 
That did a lot. Oh my gosh, I should be using him. Holy crap. That did so much damage. And he didn't take any damage. Why, why was I not using him? I'm an idiot. Again, I may have to play this over again with, uh, you know, my the, 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 the knowledge that I can actually make uh, better decisions in the future. Oh, got two. Okay, there we go. All right, so she's got three left. One of which is already slightly down. Who can I bring back? I'm gonna bring back uh, Nasir. Oh shoot. Okay, hold on. Uh, it's gonna make a world of difference the next round. I need to make sure that Raysun is in his form, his his true form, his swan form thing, because then I can bring back four people for second attacks on the same turn, which will make a huge difference uh, in the ability to break down her walls way faster. Which, hey, you know, always looking for bigger, better, faster. Uh, okay. Who else hasn't gone? Oh, it's the Sinaki. Alright, I'm gonna end the turn fully expecting people to die. I didn't realize that the walls could heal themselves. That's annoying. Okay, so... <laughs> the little energy balls can heal the walls. At least they're not attacking me. I'd rather them do that than them attack me. Still super annoying, though. That's really interesting. And they do they do that literally... Do the birds? Freaking awesome. Oh, the Tabarn is, like, so good. Okay. I think there's only one more of these things. Yeah. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh, well, it only did six damage, but still. She's going to attack now. So, people are going to die. No one's died yet. I'm waiting for it. It's going to happen. I know it is. Wow. Once again, no one died. Two direct hits from a god. And no one died. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, I mean, one person died, but that was my own fault. Um, okay, so some people are going to be healed a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Um... Let's get Kaningus healed up as much as we can. Let's get Tabarn healed up. And let's get Nasala healed. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's go after this wall. See how we can uh, bring it down, if at all if possible. Hmm. You know what? Oh man, I can't move him. That's super annoying. But I can attack that same one. Once again, it can dodge for no reason. Man, I'm just gonna keep healing. All right. Okay. 
Come on, you can do this. Uh, where is Nasala? One more hit. Yes. All right, two more. Um, I need. I need. Oh, she's got an elixir. I'm gonna steal that from you. It might be beneficial. Why can't I move him? He didn't go yet. I think he did. Whatever. I should take care of one of the spirits. Make them slightly less annoying. This is sort of screwed up anyway. They're all just going to go after caning this. I love it. I mean, he's pretty good at dodging, even though he's not super uh, resilient against magic. Maybe it's the space he's standing on. It's just what... Right, come on, come on. You can do it. And I gave him that, which is a really good uh, modifier for him. Okay. Well, she's going to do she's going to attack again, I'm sure. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, she's oh, Sworn's probably going to die. Yeah. Well, normally I wouldn't have let that happen because Sworn's one of my favorite characters, but being as we are just trying to see what she does. So, it, it, correct me if I'm wrong, if you guys have been watching. Uh, she seems to do an area of effect attack. And then will attack a single person in the next round. And then an area, an effect, area of effect attack and then attack a single person. That seems to be her MO. I think. Alright, one more. Keep forgetting I have that. Gosh, how does that how does that happen? Strongest archer, one of the strongest bows in the entire game. A wall dodges it. Pisses me off! So, just jumping into this entirely, we can we can now hit her. Question is, who do I want to hit her? It's got to be Tabarn. I'm going to bring Mist all the way up here just so that she can mend him. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna move Kurth, heal him up, and then 
move to barn down here. And we'll see what happens. Okay. Yeah, that did a lot of damage. So did that, though. That was very effective. Can she talk to her? That's my... Nope, she can't talk to her. All right, well, at least um, I know who's most effective against hitting her physically for the next round. Also, I swear to God, I thought someone was supposed to come up over here, but I guess not. So she's due up for another big attack. Uh, unless she heals herself. Maybe that's what she did. Is she healing all of them? I'm very confused. Honestly, I might not replay this. If, if enough people survive, if, if no one else really, like, dies who's important, uh, I might just leave it at this. <laughs> not one of my best playthroughs, but uh, I always did struggle with the, this, this end game for this game. It's just so brutally long. It really is. There's It's like endless enemies, and they're all so strong. and Ugh, it's a lot to deal with. But uh, she's, she's going to attack again. I, I know she is. Hmm. And it's going to suck. So much. Don't attack Mist. She didn't do anything. She's so weak. You buttholes. See, she dodges. She's good. She smacks you with her staff. Oh no, she's gonna silence all my magic uh, users. Oh no! Well, I don't think I can use magic now. He still has his. Uh... What happened? What's going on? That was very strange. Woof. Hit her again. Dang it. You pinhead. I might be able to get her. It's possible. We'll see what happens. One more time. One more time. Come on, come on, come on. I'm just going to redo it. I think I might have won. I don't want to speak too soon. Because, you know, she might have something else up her sleeve. Is she dead? Yes! Oh my gosh! Finally! I'm not replaying it. I, I'm, I'm okay with the people who die. Well, I mean, I'm not okay with Soren dying, but I'm tired. <laughs> it's been 17 episodes of this, so I'm, I'm more than happy to uh, let one of my favorite characters die for like the seven millionth time that I've played this game. Wait! Oh no! Oh boy. Like all great JRPGs, she's never dead the first time.
I think maybe it has to be Ike who kills her. Oh boy, it's, it's animated, you know, it's, it's important. This looks pretty cool though. Ether! Oh boy. Missed! Yes! She dead! I think we did it for real this time. Yes! We killed God! It's the little, it's the little girl. Ike just murdered a little girl. What of you? Are you leaving? I am. But I believe it's for the best. This world does not need God. We have always failed you. We made you weak. That's pretty much. Don't have to leave. Hmm? It's true. We don't have much use for God. But well, you show us what we should aspire to. We need inspiration. You give us a reason to grow, to become more than we are. And if we don't have that DNA, we're nothing more than. Can you forgive me? Or His voice acting is superb. Never better. I don't know. But you have already forgiven us. How could we not? We are all family. We will try to understand one another. Even when we disagree. You're right. I will try. One more time. Now, unstatuify those billions of people that you turned into statues. Where's everyone else? No one else is standing there. It's just Ike by himself. <laughs> Put on some sunscreen, Ike. You're so pale. Hey, weren't we all, like, fighting each other six months ago? <laughs> He's, like, kind of turned on. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny to me. <laughs> he had he was very very uh very um 
he looked very turned on in that moment. Just looked at the guard and gave him like a smirk. <laughs> That's so weird. I love it. Everybody turn back to color. Yay. I'll save in the uh, last remaining save slot <laughs> because I want to do it again. I don't know why I would put myself through that, though. No, it's been fun. I've had a good time. Those furries, man. Whoops. <clears throat> Uh, we have to restart building. Hopefully this will be the last time. Don't say hopefully. Oh, Ike's actually, like, smiling. They're all smiling! Oh my gosh, this is so weird. They turned the little edge of their lips slightly upward. She was crowned the 15th Queen of Dayan. Oh my gosh, this is so slow! Zephyr Soph. What a name. Good lord. Zephyr? Who would name their kid Zephyr? Yeah, Edward died. A lot, pretty much most of the Dawn Brigade died. <laughs> Sorry, Leonardo. I really wanted you to make it. You got all the way to part three, but you're just so weak all the time. Nolan died like the third, third uh, eighth chapter, I guess. Most of the Dawn Brigade is gone. And look, I still made it without them. It just proves I didn't need any of them. Ugh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. is still alive. Worked tirelessly for his country as linchpin of Dayan's military and a pillar of statesmanship. Oh, yeah. Traveled Tellius as a merchant. Mercenary, resolving Bjork Legu's disputes, some say. He eventually settled in Gallia. Which is where the Lagoos are. Sorry, Jill. <laughs> Horror is great. Uh, so many people died. <laughs> I know. To be fair, way less people died in the first game because um, the the units that they give you, even when you first get them. They're way more uh, durable and way stronger. The units that they give you in this game, at the beginning of a level or whatever, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's like they're so weak. It, it's, it's crazy how weak they are. The entire Dawn Brigade is just... They get wiped out so easily. And the, the, the number of enemies who are stronger than you, it's like double what you would expect it to be. And it just... It's absolutely punishing. And it really really sucks. I feel like in the first game it was a lot more fair. Um, and and it didn't feel like it was constantly an upward battle. It was challenging, but it was never like 
something that was undoable. This this game has so many levels where it's like, oh my gosh, like I just give up. Like I'm, you get you get worn down to the point of fine. The, you know, three people are gonna die in this in this round because I can't help it. dealt with affairs of state and coped with a changing world until a new heir could be chosen. <clears throat> Kanan gets his side as his loyal shadow. He died proud of how he spent his life. Scrimmer! Yeah, you died. Sorry. <laughs> you probably would have been the heir <laughs> had you not died. My bad. Randolph will be fine. He's a little like cat, a little cat boy, but he's pretty pretty strong. Oh well, that's a mistake. Still indulge Scrimmer who died. <laughs> That's funny. Is Mordecai still alive? Yeah, he is. Mordecai's the uh, gentle giant. She died. No, she didn't. She lived. Good for her. Dutiful assistant. Never neglecting to train, even in peacetime. What'd Sanaki do? Sanaki? We're sisters. But Benyon <laughs> Seneki elected to guide her people in a world without the goddess and made treaties uniting the continent. Good for her. Sigrun was loved by her subordinates. Why wouldn't she be? She's got, like, cyan hair. Tanith, on the other hand, is a lot tougher looking. She doesn't seem like the type to have subordinates who would love her. Respect her, but not love her. Was feared by her subordinate. I'm saying that, and then immediately read it. It's like, yeah, no, that makes sense. <laughs> Former slaves out of poverty. He was busy, but very happy. Oh, he's got Morim looking after him. Lagu's official Morim, assisted Tormud. They're like, I think they're like brothers, kind of. Like, they, like, grew up as brothers or something? I can't remember. No, no, no. Morim was enslaved as a Laguz, and Tormid broke him out, and they stuck together for, like, years. That's what it was. I don't think I ever used Vika. I think she was in the map on one or two levels, but I never actually used her. 
Lord of the Air. Birds change their feathers. Forest creatures are off limits. Needless displays of violence as well. Have you ever heard of a vegetarian hawk? Perfect judge of character. Yeah, you know, I'm pretty I'm pretty good. <laughs> it's not like you can read into the characters by the way they look, right? <laughs> now, she was uh she was a hard ass. She's nice though. She was pretty good too, pretty strong. First king of the unified bird clans. Ooh. Nasala saved from the blood pact. Nasala left his people and their nation. He became a diplomat, finding atonement in work. Doesn't seem like him at all. Grayson worked hard as a leader in the new Laguz nation. I really wish I could speed this up. This is taking so long. I just want to get to the end. Severely wounded in part three. But alive. That's the important part. Spending his free time in long, deserted locales. So, sorry, Leon. Or Leanne. You didn't die, but you got real you got real messed up. It's Nolucci. Worked hard to restore the name of the Raven clan. Every year he set a new age record. Is it still going? Like he's still setting records to this day? Spent his days arbitrating conflicts between nations. Guarding the peace so many had died for. Wish Spinner. Gave birth to her lost fiancé's child. Goldoa rejoiced. At the first dragon birth in centuries. And I murdered a lot of dragons. Holy crap, they're like an endangered species at this point. Serve the new dragon king by observing other nations in his travels. So he was a spy. Often doted on his great grandchild. <laughs> he looks so angry, I love it was named Chamberlain to the king's new nephew and taught him with both strictness and love. I'm guessing a little bit more strictness than love. Shall we be off to Crimea? Did we really... Did we need a little aside for that? Governed Crimea with resolve and a deep love for her people. Her reign was remembered as a golden age. As a golden shower. All Crimea rejoiced at Renning's return. He chose to forego the limelight, helping the queen to keep the peace. There's a lot of peace being kept, I gotta say. As captain of the Royal Knights, and a model of chivalry, Geoffrey served his queen and country all his days. Lucia died. <laughs> uh, she almost died. She was severely wounded. I love how it says that they were severely wounded. Like, they clearly lived, but we don't get to know what they did. <laughs> Bastion's the best. He's like a Shakespeare character. He's so good. Many treaties were signed, spreading peace across Tellius. I think he died. Nope, he didn't. I just didn't use him. 
This is taking forever. I just want it to be over. Maybe I should have let more people die so that I could have gotten through this quicker. His voice could be heard anywhere in the castle? That's got to be annoying. I don't want to skip it. I, I've earned this. I put like 27 hours into playing this stinking game. Petulant Pegasus Knight Marcia. They call her, they insult her as they tell us that she died. Yeah, I mean, do you want to try and keep as many as you can alive? Um, most of the time, though, you really have your your favorites out. Your, your people that you want to uh, improve. At least in the first game, you, you play with the same group of characters throughout the entire first game. In this game, it's a lot harder because they switch between groups so you get into a groove with the people that you're playing with and then they swap out for different people in a completely separate um part of the story and then you have to like redo every it, there's way t there was way too much swapping of people i wish it had been like two groups but it ends up being three it's just really annoying <laughs> returning to his family in oma Farmed for the rest of his peaceful life. He never lifted a weapon again. Meg! She died. I let a child die. She's like six. Not really. She's probably like ten, but... She dead. She's very dead. Heather returned home to care for her mother. Swearing off her roguish ways. Yet somehow... She always had money. Hmm... Sorry, Danvid. You're literally like the only black person in Fire Emblem, and I let you die. I'm sorry. To be fair, I'd be kind of insulted if, like, they they did, uh, if I was being represented in a game and they did what they did to Danvid, where he's literally, like, he's um, mentally challenged, uh, I would not want to be represented that way in this game. It's kind of insulting. Ugh. Try and skirt around that a little bit. Uh, Khalil returned to running the store with her beloved Largo and daughter, Amy. Titania remained second in command of the mercenaries. Once a year, she visited the graves of her fallen friends. That's a lot of graves you gotta visit, man. Shinnin lazes the days away in his old haunts. An expert at all he put his hand to, he chose none as his calling. All right. That's actually pretty interesting. Became a famous mercenary. He's so handsome. Fate led him to find many women, but never true love. Sounds like me. Only not. Oscar returned to the royal knights at Queen Alincia's request, but still took mercenary jobs, mercenary work on the side. You sly dog, you're making money on the side. You better be paying taxes on that. Boyd trained day in and day out so as not to lose his spot to, quote, some stupid rookie, unquote. He never did either. <laughs> what? His spot where? In the axe throwing competitions of Gallia? I don't know. Rolf remained with the mercenaries. He was always in demand as a tutor of unrivaled marksmanship, even at 12 years old. Riss served as a healer and opened a small chapel in a corner. Who are you worshipping? We literally murdered the gods. I guess they're still technically there, but he taught school there. That's so boring! <laughs> oh, man. He had such a better... Uh, storyline the first one he like he was really sickly and very uh prone to just being sick and everything but he wanted to be a fighter but all he could do was heal he was pretty cool but sometimes rested at girls retreat mist was courted by many young suitors in her time she gave the nod to none of them and lived happily alone that sounds like me that actually does sound like me no, Soren. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have died. I'm, I'm so sorry. 
Once he saw stability return to Tellius, Ike left on a journey to lands still unknown. He was never seen again. And if you have the highest uh, relationship with Soren and he lives, they go off together. Because they gay. All right. I don't think I can skip this. Also, I just realized I could hit the enter button to bring up the Wii menu. That's awesome. We are just used to seeing a lot of adventures. It's true. It's very, very true. All right. I'm going to let this go real quick. I got to get something set up. Uh, where is air table? There we go. Subpixel. All right. Da, 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 da. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Almost there. Waiting for stuff to load. Give me one second. Okay. All right. I think we can stop it there. Oh, oh man, we did it. I can't believe we did it. Look how much I was sweating. My underarms are gross. Um, yes. Thank you guys for watching. It has been a heck of a time, these 17 streams that I've done. Um, it was a lot of fun. I think the next game that I'm going to be playing starting next Wednesday, Jimmy, thank you for making this possible, is Half-Life Alex. I'm going to restart it from the beginning because I still haven't beaten it. Uh, so I'm going to restart it, and we're going to be playing it here on stream. I'm going to try a little bit of different setup with the cameras and everything, and um, try to give you just a better sense of the space I'm in for VR. But it should be pretty fun to play through that. And as always, if you guys are interested in more subpixel content, which you should be, because it's great content and we have a lot of it, go to subpixelfilms.com. That'll take you right to our YouTube page. Give us a subscribe. Give us a bunch of likes. We got a ton of cool videos that are constantly being put out. Uh, Ian just did a playthrough of his first time playing through Roblox, which I don't know what that is because I'm not eight years old, but it sounded crazy. Um, we've got a deep dive into No Man's Sky that was done by Jake about a month ago. I just did a video about Star Citizen, uh, which was a little controversial, mainly because of a really stupid thing having to do with dates. And then Will is always putting on awesome videos and hosting a bunch of content right here on Twitch at Subpixel Team. That's where you'll find us. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And don't forget, we have our podcast, Local Chat, which starts, uh, new episodes start on Thursdays at 9 p.m. right here on Twitch. So if you're interested in hearing about some gaming news and stuff, anything, any, if you're interested in hearing a bunch of white guys talk about video games, which who doesn't need more of that, uh, this is the place you're going to find it. And uh, we hope you guys join in tomorrow at 9 p.m. Thank you guys for watching so much. Jimmy, Al, Connor, anyone else who watched, I'm sorry if I'm forgetting. I'm already I'm already forgetting. I think I got most of you. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. It has been a blast. And I will see you guys next week right here at 9 p.m. Thank you. Good night.